I was thinking about a question I had from an executive coach who was an elder white woman who is very smart and you know, has years of experience talking to young people about next level leadership in their lives. But the, there was a moment that we had where I had that shiver, that icky ick that happened when we started talking and, she, and I was explaining to her some issues that I was having in a mostly male not dominated board that I was dealing with that didn't really understand some of the complaints I had about diversity and, and real righteous anger and indignation that I needed to express. And her question to me was, well, you know, you used to work with Gloria Steinem and I think you should channel your inner Gloria Steinem when you talk to those men and say to them what you think Gloria Steinem would say, or your inner Hillary Clinton and say to them what you think Hillary Clinton would say. Mm -hmm. And my response was an eye roll, which I now regret, you know, was not very <laughs> compassionate <laughs> because I don't walk into a room with the privilege mm -hmm. that Gloria Steinem gets. And not just because she's iconic and wonderful and phenomenal, but because she's white. Right. When we talk about the entitlement, when we talk about the arrogance of belonging, as someone who has been called uppity, because I have a lot of entitlement, I think I deserve everything that every white dude in America gets access to as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've dealt with consequences, and I've dealt with losses for having that entitlement. One of the things that I've seen in my own spiritual path and my own understanding of how I take up space in the world is that the underestimation fuels me. Mm -hmm. It stokes a fire in me to achieve excellence. It stokes a fire in me to be my authentic self at all costs. And so that's what gets me going is just knowing that, knowing that what Angel was talking about, that inherent dignity, that I feel that that's been passed down to me in blood memory and um, that, that fuels me and that's how I deal with the losses that I know that that the losses are just a part of that ultimate understanding of, of my inherent worth and dignity and that I'm not defined by those losses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.